This is a demonstration of how to do the bamboo stitch, which is a very easy stitch. There are two rows involved, and here is how I do it. Start with an uneven number of stitches, and you slip the first stitch, yarn over, knit two stitches, pass the yarn over the two stitches, yarn over, knit two, pass the yarn over the two stitches, yarn over, knit two, pass the slip stitch over, yarn over, knit two, pass the slip stitch over the two stitches, yarn over, knit two, you can get the idea now, pass it over, yarn over, knit two, pass over and continue doing this until you get to the end of the row. And here are our last two stitches, I'm going to knit them, we're going to take the yarn over those last two stitches going to turn the work and simply purl back every stitch. Just continue purling till you get to the end of the row. Now we've purled across, we're going to start the next row. Again, we're going to slip first stitch, yarn over, knit two, pass the slip stitch over, yarn over, knit two, pass the slip stitch over the two stitches, yarn over, knit two, pass, and just continue on. It's so easy. It's a multiple of two stitches. I've added the one extra stitch in the beginning because it's very hard for some people to just start with a yarn over. So that gives us that extra stitch to start with, which makes it easier. Other than that, knit two, pass the slip stitch over, yarn over, knit two, pass the slip stitch over, yarn over, knit two, pass the slip stitch over, yarn over, knit two, pass the slip stitch over, yarn over, knit two, and pass the slip stitch over. And there you have it. So there's the bamboo stitch. It's easy, it's versatile, and you can use both sides. It's not going to curl up like the stockinette stitch does. So I hope you'll have fun with it.